Welcome back everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here and today I'm working together with Dean at Tomoko's Enterprise to bring you an awesome and unique video. So let's get right to it here and then we're going to follow up with Dean, so stay tuned for him. Now here's a really interesting story to kind of bring a bit of history behind our friend Dean over at Tomoko's Enterprise. About two and a half years ago, he was working on a project with his local community uh, to make some wheelchair accessible planters uh, for the old folks in the area, as he puts it. Uh, and there was a lot of leftover cedar, two by fours and wood, that uh, was basically going to be destined for his wood boiler that supplies his floor heat at a shop. Um, but he was, uh, he got sick, sadly, and uh, was not able to keep working on, the, on what was needed. So these got set aside. As it turned out, his local community garden was looking for something just like this and his boss came to him and asked him if he could work on a very special project for him. They had to plan it, they replanned it, it took some time to put it together uh, and just get the sizing for some benches for the community garden. Uh, again, sadly, Dean got quite sick for quite a long time uh, and even spent a month in hospital, taking time to recover. Then. Amazingly enough, he says he discovered pouring and it really brought a spark into his life. And the project was still sitting off in the corner. He was moving on with new things, but he still knew he wanted to work on this for that community garden once he was feeling 100%. Now, at one point, Terry, Dean's brother, had come to stay with him and they worked together to get this project going and really make sure that it would be ready for the upcoming spring grand opening of the community garden. Through their hard work, it took just over two years to get it all done, and finally it was ready, and that's what we're showing you today. This beautiful handmade, handcrafted bench by Dean Lorman over at Tomoko's Enterprise. And I really wanted to show this and feature the craftsmanship that it, he and the quality that he puts into his work and that translates not only to something like this but his silver work his copper work his leather work all of that just beautiful beautiful work that he does and somebody that i really think you should follow and make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that thumbs up button for dean because that helps out tremendously i hope everybody enjoyed taking a close-up look and a little bit of behind the scenes of this wonderful silver artist out here, Dean Lorman, over at Tomoko's Enterprise and some of the wonderful craftsmanship projects that he works on. Now we're going to go to a video here and we're going to feature Dean doing some stamping with an awesome pure silver totem. Well, good Sunday afternoon, folks. I'm actually doing this first little bit for infinity stamps and um, they have made this fine work in peace for my maker's mark now I did make a mistake when ordering this piece as um, I ordered it for flat stamping and of course what we stamp here most of it's not flat so I would make a correction for anyone ordering a stamp from these guys that if you're going to be working silver hand poured uneven stuff to let them know and they can certainly make this happen for you. So I'll be back in a second. I just need to uh, reposition. Uh, we're going to start beating on the, the very last totem pole. Okay, Infinity. Here we go. I've made my... Uh, leather stamping pads from from rawhide and I'm gonna beat on this thing a little bit and we'll show you how it goes and there we 
we have my maker's mark. I bent it um, a little bit, but I can straighten this out. The most important thing is with these uh, stamping pads is that we don't damage things. So I've got a little trick to uh, straighten these guys out. I'm going to um, add a couple more stamps but not their weight as these are now going to be sand casted from this piece. So, take care everybody. Thanks for coming by. Stop, like, subscribe and let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye now. Hello again, just a couple minutes later. Well, I'm really happy with the condition of just how sharp everything turned out on my little totem pole. As I said, it was probably the last pour. These will now all be available in uh, sand casting. It was badly bent after I beat it with the hammer and stamps. Let's see, can we get them? There they are. There we go. Um, so I've got a little three pin set up out in my wood vise in my little shop. And I'm available able to uh, get these things straightened out and, but the most important thing is that the rawhide leather stamping pads look like that they work so thanks for stopping by and <laughs> once again yeah I sound repetitive Please like, comment, and subscribe. It's great fun. Loving all of you. Bye now.